And then log it on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, or as well, you know what I'm saying? And this is a special request video. I don't want to butcher your name. It's a long name. I don't know how to pronounce it. So uh, give yourself a shout out in the comment section if you want to be known for giving this video. But uh, I would like to thank you for the donation for this video. If any of you all out there have any special request videos that you want me to do, a uh, YouTuber you want me to do a video on, or a celebrity you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you want understanding on, it's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. And uh, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that follow button and make sure you turn on all notifications so that you can get the notifications every time we drop these breaking news on you. Alright, so to the donor who had the long name I cannot pronounce, you know what I'm saying, want to know about the mysterious death of Aisha um, Baines. Baines? Baines? I think it's Baines. Aisha Bynes, and um, she, no one knows how she died, and she, they said her death is surrounded so mysteriously. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. They know how somebody can die down the street from you, and nobody could know how that person died. Within a week, they will find out, find, find out how that person died. You know what I'm saying? In order to find out how this person, Aisha Bynes, died, you got to see what she's connected to. You understand? She was a, number one, she was a television reporter for a local Florida TV news. She was an anchor um, at a, a TV news outlet down in Florida. That's where she got her start. You know what I'm saying? You don't just make anchor. You know what I'm saying? You don't just make anchor and you know what I'm saying and 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 that get that type of status. Because you gotta understand these media outlets, you gotta understand who all, only two may the same way I'm gonna like this. The same way two major companies owns the majority of the nation's malls, Simon property owns one half of all of the malls in America and it's I think it's Greenworth Greenworth Investment Group owns the other half of the nation the nation's malls in America. You understand? So whatever mall you go to today is either owned by Simon Properties or Greenworth Investments. You know what I'm saying? The same way, you know what I'm saying? There's only two companies that owns the majority of media in America. There's only two companies. One of them is Viacom. The other one is News Corp. News Corp and Viacom. Sadly to say, Aisha Bynes was affiliated with a Fox, a local Fox television news outlet. So who owns Fox? Viacom owns Fox. So it is, you know what I'm saying, so you put piece, piece them together, Viacom owns Fox, she was signed to... Fox, the, the local Fox a news outlet, she was an anchor on there. They had to let her go so that she can go out and be that, you know what I'm saying, that activist. Standing up for women, you know what I'm saying. Why did they let her go or why did she leave that news outlet? Because it was time. She was still assigned, they, even though she wasn't with the Fox station, she still was signed to the Fox station. Because once you sign those papers and you take that oath, because this these are nasty, even though they are local news outlets, they are heavily, you know what I'm saying, owned and operated and controlled by the Jesuits. And you best believe if you 
are made something, being that you come from one of these Jesuit corporations, guess what? The agenda for Aisha, you know what I'm saying, binds. She couldn't do what she is known for doing, being still employed in the public side, quote unquote. I'm going to say, rep repeat that. She couldn't do what she was doing, being still employed at the local Fox TV station. Why? Because that would put a tarnished representation on the Fox TV station. You understand? It's just like, I'm going to put it like this. It's just like if I worked for, say I worked for Fox News. You know what I'm saying? Say I work for Fox News. But yet, every time I get on my Fox News show, I'm preaching the Hebrew Israelites are black. Da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Israelites are black. How would that will reflect on the network that hired me, right? The network that hired me will fire me, right? Because if I'm hired at the Fox News and I'm preaching the Hebrew Israelites are black, you know what I'm saying? So. The Jewish people that own the network will be looked at, will be responsible for what I'm preaching. You see what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm saying all that to say this. She had to be let go. She had to be removed from the local Fox station so that she can go on and do whatever what, what she is known for doing. They put her up to this. And then at the proper time, they killed her. Mostly, how did they kill her? Arsenic could be a reason for her death. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these celebrities, you know what I'm saying, when they kill you, they use arsenic because it cannot be detected. And if they kill you with arsenic, you can say she died from anything. You know what I'm saying? You can say it was coronavirus. You can say it was this. You can say it was that. But it was arsenic. And let me tell you something. She not only, uh, the Fox News Network, the state television, that small time television station, did I not only sacrifice her, you know what I'm saying, also benefited from her. Because like I said, each sacrifice, each person who assigns themselves, even long after they are not hired no more, they still got that life insurance policy. You understand? That life insurance policy still stands. So when the victim or when the Aisha Bynes end up being a sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? The Fox News Network will get a big fat because it's all about money at the end of the day. The Fox News Network will get a big fat, you know what I'm saying, insurance check from the death of Aisha Bynes. You know, they gave her, they gave her that, you know what I'm saying, they, that she was an agenda pushing, you know what I'm saying, independent women. You got to understand, what was Aisha Bynes? She was a Muslim. You know what I'm saying? And, and we know that a black man or a black woman cannot be a Muslim because that is the Ishmael religion. That's Ishmael's culture. You know what I'm saying? If, let me, I'm going to tell you like this, people. If you being black and you convert to being a Buddhist, do you know that makes you a slave up under the Chinese people? So if you being black, and you convert to the nation of Islam, do you know what that make you? That don't make you equal with the Ishmaelites, which is the Arabs. That make you a slave to the Ishmaelites and the Arabs' gods. That's what that make you. The same way when any other nation come and worship our God, do, they, do that make them equal with us? No, that make them our slaves. Even though they're worshiping our God, they still beneath us because our God looks to us as the choice vine. 
and our God looks to the other nation who worship our God as just that. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? To answer your question, um, brother or sister with the long name I cannot pronounce, you know what I'm saying? Who sacrificed her? The station sacrificed her. And you know what I'm saying? And the reason why, you know what I'm saying, they're not pursuing the investigation, and the reason why, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, um, they tell you how she died? Because the people who killed her is the same people who's in charge of doing the investigation. <laughs> the Jesuits. But anyway, I want to thank you for sending me the donation for this video. If any of you all have any special request videos that you want me to do, celebrities you want me to do a video on, YouTubers you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you need to me to drop some understanding on. It's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. Okay, and don't forget, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that like button and hit that notification. Turn on all notifications so that you can receive your notifications every time we drop this breaking news. All right, uh, thank you. Um, and don't forget, I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.